Hey you guys, it's me Spongebob number one fan 2003 here and as you can see I'm here with this super adorable Spongebob Cinemanga book and this one is called Friends Forever and I actually just got this book back in July and this is honestly such an adorable Cinemanga book and I really really love it. Okay, so as you can see on the front cover there's super adorable Spongebob and Patrick and then there's little Gary right there as well. And of course, Spongebob and Patrick are friends forever. And that is so adorable. I just love their cute friendship. Okay, and here's the spine. And of course, here is the back. It's obviously just like the other Cinemangas. You know, with the exact same little photo of Spongebob right here. But obviously, it does have a different description right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and start looking at the pages that are in the Cinemanga book. Okay. Ooh. So right here is a really cute picture of Patrick and Spongebob with bubbles. And of course, Spongebob Squarepants Friends Forever. And this book was actually made in the year 2003, which was the year I was born. And then there's a cute picture of Patrick and Spongebob right there. Of course, Friends Forever and Tokyo Pop. Oh gosh. And then here are some info about Spongebob and all of his pals right here. Oh gosh. And then, um, like the contents in here as well, like Sponge Guard on Duty, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, Naughty Nautical Neighbors, Wet Painters, oh my gosh. And then Spongebob and Patrick right here. Okay, oh gosh. Alright, so here is, um... Lifeguard on duty, I believe. Oh no, Sponge Guard on duty. Okay, so, oh no, I'm gonna have to take those back in there. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so SpongeBob and Patrick are at Goo Lagoon together, and they're looking at the sun, and then they decide to check on their tans. And SpongeBob is looking pretty good, but Patrick sees his butt, and apparently he's been laying on his belly the entire time. And then everyone at Goo Lagoon is actually very, very happy because. Larry the lifeguard <clears throat> and and Spongebob and Patrick actually really want to be like Larry well actually Spongebob wants to be like a lifeguard but Patrick thinks that being a lifeguard is dumb oh yeah and see there's like a real life photo of Spongebob right there like Spongebob like someone in a Spongebob costume and then Patrick's belly bulges right out of his pants and then some guy tells him to put his belly back in his pants and then his big feet pop out and then he goes to the snack bar and then spongebob thinks that he's actually pretty cool which he actually is really cool and then spongebob says that that he that if he's not he should be struck by a flying ice cream truck but he should live and then spongebob gets some white ice cream on his nose or like vanilla ice cream and uh Oh gosh, I really need to tape that right there. But anyway, so Spongebob notices the white stuff on his nose and Larry thinks that, he, that Spongebob looks like a lifeguard. And then Spongebob actually becomes really popular on the beach. And then Larry's putting some like sunscreen on someone. <clears throat> and then Spongebob and Larry are whistling. And then they are in the water doing like, like they have like little ukuleles. And then Spongebob actually really enjoyed all that. And they put some like official white stuff on his nose. And unfortunately, someone is actually sinking. So Larry runs right into the water and and um, rescues the person who was who was drowning. <clears throat> and then fortunately, he saves the man's life. And then Larry has to go with some people to a tanning booth. And unfortunately, SpongeBob can't swim, so he can't be a good lifeguard and then he thinks that everyone is like in danger when they're in the water so oh gosh okay so he like um yells into the 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 megaphone and then everyone like runs to him and he says that there's some sharks in the water but then it's a family and <coughs> and um <coughs> then there's then he says that there's a sea monster, and then the sea monster slaps Spongebob's face with his tail. And then everyone goes back into the water, and they're all playing, and then Spongebob says, free ice cream, and then everyone's eating ice cream, then he, then he like, tapes them all up, up right here. And then, um, 
And then Patrick thinks that there's ice cream, like free ice cream everywhere. And then unfortunately, as he goes into the water, his his butt starts to cramp. And then people say to SpongeBob that Patrick is drowning, and then SpongeBob realizes that he's drowning. And then he tries to rescue Patrick by by throwing a little uh lifesaver ring. But unfortunately, he's a terrible thrower, and then he tr then he decides to drink up all the water, so Patrick won't be able to drown at all. And then, unfortunately, that's that doesn't turn out good because apparently he also swallows Patrick. <coughs> and then, um, he takes someone's boat and he tries to get Patrick into the boat with him, but then, um, uh, yeah, so that doesn't work out very well. And then. And then Larry comes back and saves them, and then Larry puts them into like a little kiddie pool, and then they start to get butt cramps. And Patrick says, and I still, and I still don't have my ice cream. All right. <laughs> and then here's Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So SpongeBob and Patrick are watching Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and they're actually dressed up as the heroes. And then um. They um, decide to play outside, and then Squidward is getting a suntan, and they and they say that that he's a, uh, uh, gosh dang, what do they call him? Uh, whatever. So anyway, that they like, um, call some jellyfish over, and then Squidward blows the jellyfish away. <clears throat> oh, his name is Reflecto. Squidward's name is Reflecto, I guess, to SpongeBob and Patrick. And then um. Squidward destroys the tent that they put up for him, and then, and then apparently he's found their secret lab, and then um, and Squidward says that they should go see Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in person, and they are in Shady Soul's rest home, and then SpongeBob and Patrick see Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and they're really, really excited because they're really big fans of them, but. But yeah, obviously they filmed their TV show when they were like young adults, but now they're like really old, like elderly men. And then SpongeBob and Patrick get kicked out because they made Mermaid Man go nuts by saying evil. And then um, <laughs> and SpongeBob says that old people are the greatest, and like you know, elderly people are amazing. Like elderly people can be very very nice and kind. And and then SpongeBob goes back to see them, and then they're very very angry to see SpongeBob, and then SpongeBob like does a bunch of things, to I guess. Like, you know, make them giggle or whatever, and then... And then, um, Spongebob gets kicked out, and he got married. So... So Spongebob dresses up as a lady, and then Patrick is a robber, and then he steals Spongebob's purse. And then he screams, oh, help, 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 and then... Or, help, and then Barnacle Boy, I guess, saves him technically, but like, you know, he says be quiet because you don't want to disturb Mermaid Man's sleep. And then, and then Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man are all ticked off again, and then Spongebob and Patrick paint their invisible boatmobile, and then they put on their rings. Oh gosh. And then um, they throw water balls at them, but of course that doesn't work. So, and they do the whirlpool thing, and then Spongebob and Patrick are very happy. And then, and then Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are playing checkers or something, and then, um, <laughs> and yeah, their phone is, I guess, broken, and then SpongeBob thinks that, that the, that the new show is a lot better than the old show, and then he ends the episode with a wink. And then Naughty Nautical Neighbors, so Squidward, um, is eating a souffle, and then Patrick and SpongeBob are really annoying him, of course. So they're like blowing bubbles and like saying messages to each other and then Squidward decides to wreck their friendship by blowing evil bubbles and yeah, so Patrick and Spongebob are not friends anymore. Hold on a sec, that's not at that part yet, but then after their friendship ends and Squidward starts to choke on his fork and then Patrick saves Squidward's life and um... I guess Patrick and Score become friends, and then Spongebob is honestly very, very lonely because he basically doesn't have any more friends. And yeah, apparently Gary's too busy for him.
<clears throat> and then SpongeBob saved Squidward from like you know his aching back because you know Patrick fell asleep on Squidward. And then Squidward and SpongeBob become friends, and then SpongeBob I guess wrecks Squidward's place because yeah with the base and stuff. And then Patrick runs school in a bath, and then Patrick and Spongebob start to argue with each other again. And then Spongebob and Patrick are invited to a dinner party at Squidward's, but then Spongebob and Patrick are not happy to see each other, and then they ask for lots of soda, and yeah. And they become, like, really, really fat from all the soda, and then they, like, have a bunch of bubbles around them because they, like, burp it all out. And then Squidward's house is completely destroyed, so yeah. <laughs> and now for wet painters, so Spongebob and Patrick are hurting themselves on purpose because we're told them to. And, um, yeah, Squidward gets in trouble and then Patrick and Spongebob have a very super special secret assignment. And then, or a super special secret assignment. And they have to paint Mr. Krabs' house, except... They have to be like very very careful because the paint is permanent and if he gets and if they don't if and if they get paint on anything they'll um have their butts cut off and mr Krabs will hang them over the fireplace and man that is so bad you can't live without a butt anyway so spongebob and patrick are gently painting the house that's exactly what a COVID test is like <laughs> okay anyway like what spongebob did with this thing so anyway um spongebob carefully paint paints the house but then like it runs down onto some pictures but fortunately he does get the paint off and then he he unfortunately accidentally blows a bubble and then Patrick blows another giant paint bubble and then the paint actually gets on everything like you know it gets on the wall but unfortunately there's a spot of paint on Mr. Krabs's first dollar flap and floats and what's that and then Patrick, I mean, Squ Spongebob knows that they're dead meat, so. So Spongebob tries to get the, the paint bit off, but nothing works to get it off. And then, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, they try everything they can, and then Mr. Krabs comes home, and. Oh gosh. And. Mr. Krabs says, look at what you've done, and he like says a bunch of nice compliments, and then he notices that they got paint on the dollar, and then apparently he just licks it right off, and the paint does come off with saliva, or your spit, and then Mr. Krabs like says, I just like to mess with you, and Patrick and Spongebob are really mad, and they leave, and then Mr. Krabs laughs so much that he's like, you know, bunches of little spit bits come out, and then his, his all the paint com comes off and he says oh crud i've really got to learn to say it not spray it all right and then here's an advertisement for this spongebob cinemanga and a bunch of other cinemangas and this jimmy neutron cinemanga and then it's actually pretty much all for the spongebob squarepants friends forever cinemanga book my favorite part about this book is like it has a bunch of cute Patrick and Spongebob adventures and I really super love it. It reminds me so much of my friendship with my BFFL Pamela and like yeah it's very very super nice because Patrick and Spongebob do remind me of, and my best friend Pammy of each other since we're best friends as well and I really super love that. But yep I hope you guys enjoyed this video so goodbye everybody have a great day and... Peace out.